what Jesus did at the Last Supper. This is my body. This is my blood. Do this. Do this in remembrance of me. During Mass, bread and wine are changed. They are changed into the body and the blood and the soul and the divinity of Jesus himself. They may still look like bread and wine, but they are no longer bread and wine. They are now Jesus. Calvary is made present today during this Mass right on this altar. And we receive Jesus himself in Holy Communion. St. Alphonsus Liguri sums that up when he wrote, Had you been present on Calvary, with what devotion and tenderness you would have attended that great sacrifice. Enliven your faith then and consider that the same action is performed on the altar. Right here, right here during this Mass. The third reflection comes from Father Brendan Daly, who is a priest of Auckland, New Zealand. It's a very short reflection, and I loved his title too. It's called, The Luckiest People on Earth. Father Daly writes, A woman I know brought up a Catholic, went to a Catholic boarding school, and eventually gave up practicing her Catholic faith. She married and had three children who were not baptized. When the children were teenagers, she went to the Catholic funeral of a friend. She sat down in the back of the church. When it came time for communion, she watched the people going up to receive the Eucharist. And she thought to herself, if those people receiving communion are receiving the Son of God, they must be the luckiest people on earth. And reflecting on this led her to come back to the practice of her Catholic faith. We are receiving the Son of God, Jesus Christ, in Holy Communion. Reflect on this. Believe this. Live this mystery. We are receiving the Son of God, Jesus Christ, in this Holy Communion. And we are indeed the luckiest people on earth. <laughs>